creation takes its cue from you, not from itself, because it does not have a will of its own. The only thing that has free will is consciousness. Consciousness is the creator. Presence energy is the slave. Presence energy will create whatever the creator is vibrating into creation. When you vibrate in a certain pattern of energy, which consists of all your beliefs and all your states of being and all your thoughts and all your assertions and all your desires, and when that combined has a certain output, which is a very complex, beautifully rich vibratory pattern or field, it will then shape presence energy into a particular form that has color, that has shape, that has size, that has story, that has reflection, that has tangibility. That is how we constantly create what we perceive. There is no creation apart from the perceiver. There is no creation apart from the creator. There is no creation apart from the observer. There is no existence apart from you. There is no form apart from the formless consciousness that you are. So when you vibrate, when you change your output, presence energy, which is a mindless slave, it has no will of its own. It's gorgeous, it's rich, it's vast, it's a beautiful reflection of infinity, but it's a mindless slave. It has to follow your vibrational output. It cannot do anything but that. It cannot start thinking for itself. A creation, a snapshot, a particular configuration of the universe, which is one of the infinite parallel realities that all coexist within a timeless now, they cannot start thinking for themselves. They don't have artificial intelligence. You are the only intelligence in your creation, and your creation takes its cue off of you, not off its parallel selves. That's why it doesn't matter what is in your bank account as we speak. It doesn't matter what type of relationship you have right now. It doesn't even necessarily matter what you believe is true in this moment. As soon as you change what you expect will happen in the next second, what happens in the next second will change. Because it takes its cue from your vibration, not from what is. So don't even ever feel bogged down by what is, unless you want to create more of what is. But if you don't like it, why would you do that? Now here is a little bit of a catch that we have, or an illusion or a delusion, that we have generated within our civilization, which is the assumption that in order to get somewhere really, really good, we need to be working on the really, really bad. In order to attain security, we need to feel really, really insecure about everything so that we can manage our situation into security. In order to get rich, we need to micromanage our finances as if we are poor so that we can build up our poverty and when you stack up poverty on top of poverty on top of poverty, someday you'll get to wealth. When you are being really, 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 really insecure about every little detail that happens to you, then someday that situational control will lead to security. It has never happened that way. It has never happened that way, and it will never happen that way because it goes against one of the fundamental principles of creation, which is that the way that we navigate parallel realities is not through management, it's through vibration. It's through how we feel. That is your steering wheel. Your steering wheel does not consist of paying attention to the details of what is and then trying to manage that into what will be. When you want to navigate into a parallel reality, which we call simply the future, but it's already here, that's why I say whatever you desire is already in your field, simply tune into it enough attain the vibrational worthiness of it, match the frequency of that reality, and it will be made visible as if by magic. But it's not magic. It's simply the next most logical thing if your vibration matches up with that reality. If not, then that's what the journey is all about. Holding your desired reality up as a standard, not to judge yourself by, but to know what vibrational shifts you have to go through in order to attain such a state of inspiration where you have the readiness, the maturity, the wisdom, the love, and the vibrational expansion, expansiveness, that you are actually able to be that reality, to see that reality. Does that make sense? It's a vibrational journey, and what you desire is your higher self, giving you an image, a glimpse of what is already in your field, so that you know what to work on within yourself in order to feel so good about yourself, so good about creation, that you are ready to receive, to perceive, not even receive, but perceive 
what is already here, but is now invisible to you because of a vibrational discord with that reality. You do not navigate into your future by managing what is. You navigate into the future of your dream by managing your vibrational output and awareness and consistency.